Hi, this is Brian Van and Smitty from Sport Bike Track Gear, sportbiketrackgear.com. We're going to do a video review today on the all new backpack from Alpine Stars, the Charger backpack. All right, this isn't, you know, you know, get you in your little Alpine Star backpack to go to school on the school bus, put your lunch in a kind of backpack. Well, I guess you could use it for that if you wanted to, but this is a riding specific backpack, and there's a couple of features in here that make it very riding specific. What is the best feature with this backpack? The uh, the quick release makes it very easy to take on and off. So, why don't you show us that, Smitty? It's right here. It's a little button right here. If you can zoom in, just press that, and this totally releases here. And then you do have two straps across the front here that secure it, but just like that. When you're wearing a jacket, a motorcycle riding jacket. You know, you've got elbow armor, you've got shoulder armor, you've got some girth. It's added a significant amount to your being, if you will. So when you try to take a normal backpack that has two fixed straps, you know, the first arm, yeah, that's easy, okay? And the second arm, it's all, you're contorting, it's very hard to get it in. So what Alpine Stars has done is they said, you know what, why don't we cut the one strap in half and put a buckle in it, and it'll probably make life a lot easier. And as you noticed, our guy here, Smitty, with very little practice, just took that thing on and off yeah. wearing an Alpine Star SP1 leather jacket. And yeah, by the way, this jacket actually has a bit of a race hump on it too. So there's a little bit of interference back there. The hump yeah, on the is. SP1 is a little smaller, mm -hmm. but still, you know, it'll interfere with the backpack just a tickle. And it worked just fine. Let's talk features and benefits a little bit more. The straps over the shoulders, they're padded for comfort. This strap right here. Of course, it's adjustable. It's easy to do. You just kind of give it a little tug like that. That's meant to take the weight off of your back and help keep it on the straps where it should be. To loosen it, just simply pull like that. To tighten it, pull on the cord, piece of cake. Basically, same thing here at the waist if you want to adjust that when you're filming. What are you eating for dinner, dog? Uh, filling that out. All the straps up front are totally adjustable so you can make it right for you. Okay? And on the left side, that is where a quick release is at. Let's go ahead and, uh, and turn around, Smith, and we'll see if we can't show them the stuff from the back here. This has waterproof zippers, and it's made from a water-resistant material. So what that means in English is we're probably good for in the neighborhood of an hour of wet weather, okay? Now, remember, if you've got a laptop, if you've got electronics and stuff in here, I wouldn't really go riding around in a rainstorm. It starts to rain, cool, let's try and get off the road. A smart commuter is going to have some Ziploc baggies or something in here. Get the perishables, whoop, whoop, and then start rolling, okay? So I just don't want to confuse anyone and think, oh, hey, yeah, I can, you know, have my Mac in here and drive around in a downpour. Probably not a great idea. It's going to protect it enough for the short term, though. This compartment right here is, you know, basically for your iPod, man. A lot of guys and gals are out there riding around today. They like to have their music with them. Uh, it's a great place to store that. Yeah, it's soft line. You could probably put, they're suggesting maybe some sunglasses or something in here too. Very cool. And you'll notice that right here, there is also, you can see my finger kind of poke it through. Uh, you can pull the cord for the iPod through here. And you could actually get something a little bigger than an iPod back there. I mean, that would probably fit, you know, even a, a CD player that wouldn't skip a whole bunch. I mean, it's, it's a pretty sizable pack, pocket. I've got my whole hand in there. So, waterproof zipper. Now we have the larger compartment here, once again, large waterproof zipper, and you'll see all the different storage compartments. The large one up here is for the laptop, 15 inch laptop is as big as it's going to go. This is kind of like a, a neoprene pocket, a little stretchy, it'll help to protect the case of the laptop a little bit, a little velcro strap there, got pockets here, here, some mesh pockets. This is a pretty good size pocket. I think you could fit a lot of stuff in here for sure. It's expandable, of course. Let's go ahead and zip that back up. We have here and a little stash pocket here. They're really working to maximize the space, okay? You're going to notice some vents on the pack. We've got a couple here, a couple at the top of the straps. Mirror image on this pocket. I'm going to turn this way just a little bit. There's actually pockets in the strap as it goes around, you know, kind of your, your kidney area there. A little bit of padding there as well for comfort. Here's another little vent right here. Mirror image, of course, on this side. There's our pocket. There's our vent. Now, 
One more fantastic feature. Every good motorcycling backpack has helmet storage device. And where did we hide the helmet? What's a little bit different with this one <clears throat> is the way that it carries the helmet, okay? A lot of the other packs are kind of carrying them like this, all right? So when you're walking around, it's, you know, bang, 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 kind of on your back. This is intended to hold it like so. This material that I'm stretching over this brand new Arai, I'm kind of pushing you over there, dude, sorry. Um, it's really soft, it's going to protect the helmet, okay? We have three attachment points. The first one that I just did up on the top, one on the right, and of course one on the left. And then what you're going to want to do is just grab these straps, and go ahead and stretch the material up and over. You want it held in there pretty firmly. Poor Smitty, kind of yanking you all around here. Uh, and just, you know, give it a nice snug, okay? Now, is this, is this going to work well? I'm going to ask my rep here. Is this going to work well to transport a helmet when you're on the bike? Is that okay? Not a problem? So it's going to be good. Say you're going to pick your girl up, right? Put her helmet in here. Ride over to her house or apartment. Pick her up. Take it out. Put this away. Let's say you're going to a super bike race or a swap meet or something, right? And you've got a nice $500 ride helmet, okay? You can easily put it on the backpack, walk around the event, don't leave your helmet hanging from your handlebar because odds are you're going to come back and you're going to find your bike and maybe somebody's old HJC helmet, not yours. How, how does the helmet feel on the pack? Um, it feels good. Is it carrying the load pretty well? You can yeah. walk around for a little bit? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Sells nice. for a reasonable price point. Um, you know, if you're a rider that likes to do some commuting, I think it's a great pack. The Alpine Star Charger Backpack.